to Baiju's 9th and 10th channel. I'm your teacher Rankita and all of you are achievers. In today's session, we'll be discussing something super important and super interesting and that's all about the cell differentiation. Now, we always ask ourselves and others that how we have different cells and how each of these cells can perform a very specific function. So, in today's class, we will be trying to understand about the cell differentiation, right? And we will understand that why do different cells perform different functions? So that's a very, very important topic, right? So let's get started. First of all, I would love to talk about the Baiju's scholarship test. Now, it's a very important test for all of you guys. Now, this test gives you a chance to check the, basically give you a chance to check the knowledge that you have. Apart from that, it actually gives you a chance to understand where you want to move ahead. What is your goal? What is your ambition? It gives the clarity on that basis. And it, it's really very important for all of us to participate in such competitive exam. Apart from this, this Baiju scholarship test gives you a chance to go to Australia and watch the World Cup live. Yes, this year, if you write this examination, if you clear the examination, you can go to Australia along with your parents and can watch the World Cup. Interesting, right? Such an interesting thing. So what do you have to do for that? You just have to register yourself. The link of the test is in the description below. So we have first examination. The round one will be happening on 28th of August. And then of course we have a next round one on 4th of September. So if you haven't registered now, don't be late. Register now. Now that we have spoken about the Baiju scholarship test, let's move ahead to the topic. So we are talking about the different cells. Now if you look at our organism, if you look, let's talk about our cells. If you look at our cells, we have different cells. And each of these different cells perform a different function. So we here, we have blood cells, we have fat cells, we have cardiac muscles, right? Then we have these different types of cells. Now all of these cells are really very specific in their function. And of course, they, uh, they perform a specific function. Now, of course, we know that we have stem cells that have the power or we can say they are capable enough of differentiating themselves into a specific type of cell and of course they perform the different function. Now that is easy for us to understand, right? But what actually happens that why these stem cells say that, okay, fine, I will become, okay, I'll become a blood cell or, okay, I'll become a fat cell. What is the science behind it? We'll be looking into that. Now, basically, if you talk about these stem cells over here, they are kind of us, right? When we are in our primary classes, we can be anything. But as we move ahead in our, uh, you know, uh, in our grades, right? From one section to the other class, from one class to another class, we get more and more clarity that what we want to become in a life in terms of profession. Similarly, these stem cells in the very beginning, they're all together. But after a certain point, they actually differentiate and they have a very specific function. Now that we are clear with this, let's start from the back, right? Now all of this starts once there is a fusion of the gametes. So we know that sperms, sperm and ovum will fuse and that process is called as fertilization. Once the fusion of sperm and ovum occurs, we have the formation of zygote, right? And after that only, the single cell will start dividing more and more further. So from one cell to two cell, two to four, four to eight, and slowly, slowly, the number will increase. And eventually, it will be reaching a stage where it has 150 cells approximately. Now, this particular stage is really very, very important. Now, up until here, everything is working really very smoothly. All the cells are like, yeah, we are alike and all of them are performing a similar function. But something happens at this particular stage that changes the game altogether. Now, over here, in this particular stage, what happens? There are some genes that will be coming into the picture. So genes are nothing but a small fragment of our DNA that carries the genetic information. For example, the hair color, the skin color, right, the height, etc, etc. So these genes are really very important. Now, each of these cells will have genes, right? 
Now we can consider genes as a switch switches and of course when we talk about switches we can switch on and switch off. Sim something similar happens in the cells. So let's suppose we have gene A, B, C. So let's suppose gene A, gene B and gene C have uh, completely different functions altogether. So let me write over here. Let's suppose gene A gives the help basically in the structure. Now gene B helps in the transportation. Let's say helps handle the transport in the cells, right? Or uh, in the body altogether. And gene C uh, basically provides the protection, right? Or uh, basically forms the protection layer, we can say. So we have these different uh, three different genes. Now, in one cell, it could be that there's only gene A which got switched on. Whereas these, these two genes, gene B and C and other genes, are not active or not on. So what will happen? That particular cell will be actively involved in one particular function that we... Just remember that we talked about this uh, uh, gene A. It will be helping in the structure. So now, this particular cell will, will, will get a specific function of the structure and that's how it will be moving ahead and it will be dividing and of course it will be growing more further. Now similarly, it can happen with the other genes also. This time may gene B, uh, gene B is active and not uh, gene A and C in some cell and at the end of course, we have the different genes getting activated and different genes will make sure we have different cells and of course they will have their specific and different function. So if we sum it up, it's really very simple process, right? We have a cell which initially uh, have no idea but of course it was dividing, right? And of course at one particular stage they are kind of prepared to take a specific function and then they take that specific function and they perform throughout their life. Very simple, right? And that's how the cell differentiation occurs. We know that these stem cells will be taking the, the, the responsibility. Differentiation will occur and of course, from there only we have different types of cells in our body and they perform different functions. So, I'm sure that we got the answer. With this, we are done with that interesting question that we have. Before we end our session, I would like to talk about the Baiju's mini learning program. Now, in this particular program, you can avail the classes. We have three sessions and these particular class is absolutely free if you use the code YT first. Every week, 500 users can use this code which is YT first and can avail the Baiju's Mini Learning Program for free of cost. In these classes we have, uh, in this particular pack, we have three classes. You can explore these classes. We have two teacher model. You can pick the timing of your classes and of course you'll be getting the help from the mentors. So if you haven't tried these classes as of now, Go now, click on the link and join the class. Don't forget to use the code which is YT first. With this we'll end, but before we go, let me introduce you to our Telegram community. If you are already a part of our community, that's amazing. If you are not, link of the group is in the description below. Click it and be a part of our community. We'll say bye-bye. We know that, of course you know that and we also know that, that we have got you covered. Keep on learning with us. Don't forget to hit the like button for the video. Share with your friends and subscribe to this amazing channels of yours. Take care and keep on learning with Baiju's.